Trust me you now. You brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. I'm sorry. Afro who? Very funny. The last person who provoked her wrath was turned into a field pig. All right. What's Not next? Not here. Come find my camp in Yapetos' ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> And we're going to need all the help we can get. It's about time I go meet the infamous Persephone. <sighs> I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. Thank you, uh, your majesty. A simple Persephone will do just fine in my realm. Formalities are for the boring. Isn't that what they say? So, Elysium belongs to you? After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Ross can attest. Usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. No hard feelings. My name's Cassandra. Then I give you my official welcome, Cassandra. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No, someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. The Hades? I'll take it you aren't a happy couple. He's tried, of course, to bond with me. But what can he expect out of a prisoner? Love? That's just stuff of legend. You think someone would do this to you? It's highly unlikely the thing got in here on its own. I have to remember Elysium is my paradise, not everyone else's. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Aspodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from.
Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He is just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid. And he licked my palm. She's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care. I would risk even Hades' punishment for Orphe. Mark my words, I won't forget this. Whoa, boy! Ah, don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. Security here. He's a special horse and belongs to Hades. That's who he needs to return to. Persephone told me you could get him there. It's because Persephone knows I can ride any horse anywhere. I'll take it from here. Good news, I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him and took him to your stable boy, like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you've saved me. You've earned my favor. and sputtering while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently and given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... You might be playing both sides with Persephone and Adonis, but I know where your true motives lie. Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. From what I just saw, you're pretty close with Persephone. Why would you want to work against her? I'm not asking for your blind trust. 
Let me prove our goals alive. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time. Well, let's see if I got this key works. Then find that journal. No, I can't go on. I'm going to go to the next one. Wow. Oh, I'm going to go to the next one. A poppy. The meter's emblem. This journal is missing pages. Hope a guardy still wants it. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us, but stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Well, that was illuminating. I don't like mystery. Let's hear what it says. Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's for. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods.
knowledge of the gods should be useful in the underworld. Again. Always nice to see a friendly face. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. I told you. You can call me Cassandra. In front of the staff? Ha! But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The golden fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively, but I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as <laughs> keys to lock those doors. You reveal the secrets behind them? Why is this Pythagoras? <laughs> Why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Who oh, observe. Way up there. Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful. As are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see decay, I know she needs us at her side. More than ever. Ride, Phobos! <laughs> Ella! Imagine all the heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Look there, Keeper. 
That encampment is the site where Iphastos built their home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It's yeah. still tall until Aphrodite met their child Agonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. Come. That cave leads to a key I built for the staff. Consider it our secret. The key maker and the staff keeper. Friends bound by mysteries. The knowledge of the gods should be useful in the underworld. Imagine for a moment, inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? Like everything else here, I don't understand any of it. Let's call it the fates then. Your fate is predetermined, but what you experienced in there was a key I built that can unlock it and allow you to control it. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Varnavas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. Concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. Persephone can look after herself. She's incredible. I agree, but these are strange times. I've heard that some ungrateful delinquents plot against her. These uh, ungrateful delinquents... Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine, and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in love with Persephone. No one understands her the way I do. Avani sees a cruel despot. To her husband, she's a trinket on his arm. And what do you see? Me? Oh, I don't know. I've never had anyone ask me before. She's... everything. How do you know this, Kiros? He was an aid, of sorts, to your father. Every great painter needs a hand to crush their pigment. That was Kiros, a warrior. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there.
我他会跳下来，太牛逼。So, how do you get that stuff? 我自己的。Without what was my father, things happened. Now it's mine. 一家人。好的呢。I heard. This way, Persephone is waiting. 呃，这个人，他该不会掉水里了吧？他，我操，这笨，好笨啊！这个人掉水里了，过来，嘿，过来好不好？啊，对。哎，跟我游，游上来，游上来，游上来，来这里，妈的，这人是傻子吧？这他妈这个，这个人是傻子，快游过来！我头，来来来来来来来，上来。妈的，这个人是傻子！对，跟我一起游。对。哦妈耶，他终于上岸了！哇哦，这货终于上岸了！我操，你怕不是个傻子？快过来 ！All right, Kiros, let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes, and Ermis found out about it right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You staged the whole thing, and you're using Ermis to infiltrate Persephone's lair. You're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons, each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend, and I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace; they bring sorrow. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war. You could convince her to surrender or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and Hermes. They're waiting. Do you really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium. But suffering is a problem. Come on, is something I can't stop. That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan work, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes, or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits, and I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red, I'll think of something. Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. It got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault. Not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. 
Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed. These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned a key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. An eternal flame could bring order to this chaos. You understand her burden better than you let on. By enduring her sacrifice, Persephone keeps us safe in the underworld. That explains these torn up notes I found in the old fort. I thought it was just scribbles. Walk with me. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? Of course not. But ah, Hermes... Good. We don't risk retaliation. I'm giving these torn pieces back, Hermes. But I'm trusting you. A flame that never dies could consume all of Elysium. I swear to you as your friend. I will only use the flame if it's absolutely necessary. Hermes, things are worse in Elysium than I've been letting on. The rebels are organized and ready to fight. War is coming. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone, you can't even see. You're in just as much danger. You kept the eternal flame out of the hands of the humans, and you went unseen. We have the upper hand. We just have to strike. Calm yourself, Hermes. It's not like you're going to go on a rampage. And why not? There are so-called captains guiding the human forces. They invited chaos into this realm, so let's show them chaos. Fine. I'll kill the captains. I cannot let you do this alone, my friend. Let's fight side by side. All right. I've never fought alongside a god before. This should be messy. For eternity, Elysium has been a place of peace. If we do this, maybe peace will return. Maybe. But war has a way of following me wherever I go. Let them do that again! <laughs> It's been a long time since I had to use this blade, my friend. You're right. It felt good to fight with a friend. You're quite a warrior. But the war is just beginning. It is. Persephone needs to know what we've done. I'm going to her. If she rises to battle, will you join us? One way or another. Until then, my friend. Welcome to the Uprising. These ruins were abandoned when Persephone constructed her paradise. We won't be bothered here. But there are so few of you. Most of Persephone's army consists of mind-controlled humans. Free their minds and bring them to me. We can use them as troops. Free their minds? My dear friend Hermes is a master manipulator. And that staff of yours looks like one of his creations. Try using that. There is an outpost southwest from here, nestled in the hand of Hades. Warriors were spotted in its paw. Rise! Persephone no longer controls you!
You're released from the grasp of Ibnos. Elysium awaits you! You surprise me. When we first met, I was positive you were sent by Persephone to... To what? Seduce me. Confuse me. Anything to make me forget my love. But when I asked you to weaken Persephone's influence, you did. I asked you to bring me warriors, and here they are. And all I had to do was risk my life for you to trust me. No one in Elysium is who they say. So when a clever warrior shows up to help me escape, you'll have to excuse me if I'm skeptical. <clears throat> Time to find more warriors. Scout spotted one nearby. Was a Spartan hero in his former life. He's not under Persephone's influence, but keeps mostly to himself. With a champion like him on our side, we can't fail. How will I know when I find him? From what I'm told, you can't miss him. of my daughter. So something did survive that day. How do you have this? Mirini. She's my mother. I'm here because I need your help. I need you to fight. I have found peace here. Why would I fight? All my life, I was told of my grandfather. The king who spat in the face of the gods and ran his spear through anyone who threatened the freedom of his people. Now I'm the one fighting for freedom, and I'm asking my grandfather for help. We'll need to use the terrain to our advantage. So you'll fight with us? Not until you fight me. You say you're Marini's daughter. I want to see how she trained you. I could have used you at Thermopylae. You could have used a lot of people at Thermopylae. I am glad this... ...beer is in your hand. Good, you're just in time. A woman in Stroma needs your help. Unless this brings me closer to taking down Persephone, I'm not interested. Haven't I made it clear we share that goal? Helping the woman will breach Persephone's power. What's special about her? She's an orator who'd be willing to join Adonis's rebellion. That man has beautiful lips. But a silver tongue like hers is necessary to inspire the public. Then it sounds like we need her. I'll come back when I'm done. Elysium is a paradise crafted by her man. Who are you? Who sent you? Ekati mentioned you could use some help. Quiet! If the other humans think I associate with Ekati, my career is over. Just tell me what you need me to do. Free the villagers being held captive in Persephone's broken daydream. My son, Theron, is working there as a guard against his will. It's like Persephone possessed his mind. Can you help him too? I'll see what I can do. You've been asleep too long. Wake and be free! You're back! Where is my Theron? I freed him of Persephone's influence. He's joined Adonis's rebellion. Wonderful news! 
I didn't know there was a cure. What of the other villagers? They've made their way safely to Iapetos' ruins already. You'll find them there. As promised, I'll join the rebels. What message would you like me to spread once I'm there? Tell the truth about Persephone. Make sure the humans know her reign must end. Your words shall be spoken. Thank you for your help. The Silver Tongue is on her way to help the Rebellion. She'll bring in plenty of recruits. Adonis will be pleased. Relieving Persephone of her power is what's important. Don't concern yourself with that man's feelings. Or your feelings for him. Adonis is a friend. Nothing more. Make sure it stays that way. What's it to you? Divine love affairs never end well for the humans involved. Stay out of them. And stay focused on the task at hand. Now, a young woman is suffering from a terrible affliction. She's agreed to help the rebellion if we provide a cure. However, Persephone long ago outlawed the water that can relieve this woman and destroy the last of it. Let me guess. Or so she thought. There are rumors that someone hid a final vial of it in a cave off of Hypnosis Path. Retrieve it and bring it to her. Why would Persephone outlaw this water? Her need for control has grown beyond understanding. What matters is that the humans of Elysium get the help they desire. What is this woman's sickness? The worst affliction that could befall a human in Elysium. A broken heart for eternity. She's lovesick. You know nothing of grief after death. It haunts humans with an intensity unparalleled on Earth. I'll return when I've delivered the water. Remember, it's forbidden. You can't be seen when you bring it to the villa in Adonis's gardens. You entered the cave. You must have found what was left of Lithi's water. I did. Oh, I... Oh, have mercy and let me have just a sip. I lost my wife in Tartaros and her screams still haunt me in my dreams. Please, put them to rest. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But just a sip. Someone else needs this. Who in that get out of the... I... Who are you? Never mind. I don't think it matters. You're the contact Ikati described. Do you have Lithia's water? I do, but what's so special about it? I saw a man lose himself after just one sip. Humans here drink Lithia's water to forget their past lives and reincarnate back into the world of the living. But Persephone won't let any of us leave Elysium so long as she's trapped here too. I lost my soulmate. I can't go back in time, but I can forget that pain. Now. Give me the water. Hmm. So here, I need this drink. Where is the other one? But his Salome didn't die. No. I know. After what I've seen, no one should drink this. You fool! Now I'm doomed to live my life without my poor Theron for eternity. That was my last hope. Theron. 
The Silver Tongue's son? I cleansed him of Persephone's possession. He's in Iepetos' ruins. What? How? I... If what you're saying is true, I must see him right away. Oh, my sweet Theron! Mm, here is a good thing. You did nothing close to what I asked you. <laughs> and what did you ask Cassandra to do for you? Persephone. Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this. You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me. I'm sorry. It's hard for a human to understand the consequences of drinking from Lethe's river. You succeeded where I failed. Persephone, I, I was only trying I'll to... I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lethe's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves. With or without Persephone's permission? I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone. Away from your mindless chatter. You've had your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Until now, you've been helping humans, not hurting them. I'm helping people who help us, and hurting people who stand in our way. Try to stay with me, won't you? So, what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate. But once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck. That's the poison. Now I've got a symposium to attend. Another one. A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people, and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh, if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. <laughs> Tell me, stranger. Who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes! He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his due. He would follow Persephone to the end of the underworld. Persephone! 
Persephone sent Avenis the most beautiful boat after he destroyed yet another Taluka trying to escape Elysium. <sighs> an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? I think she should expand west. Thank you! If she wants a view of all the Minoan architecture, she must add a wing in the west. I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? They look like good friends to me. You know, I completely agree. Persephone needs someone like Hecate by her side supporting her. Ah. <laughs> I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Ekati made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. Wait, the wine was... well, I poisoned it. After we welcomed you so warmly, you're no friend. Guards! Hmm, campaign. To Persephone. To Persephone! Sink in. I'd better get out of here before I... <laughs> I no, you can't get out of here. Bye bye. Gatti owes me answers. The symposium wasn't at all what I expected. 